Alright hey guys, um, I don't know how well this is gonna work, so my first time recording with the mic, I guess, mm, yeah, but yeah, um, this is gonna be part one of universities, and I'm pretty excited, so yeah, this is my jock, and his name is Tin Jones, I couldn't think of any name, but that's what I got, and yeah, He's your dog. So let's go check out his clothes. And right now he's wearing his everyday attire. So yeah, you can see I have the, you know, the jacket and some shoes on and skinny jeans and a hat. Because I just love hats and stuff. So yeah. Um, let's go to his formal wear. Um, let's see. Okay. And this is formal wear. I couldn't really think of anything to put on him, really, so I just threw on anything. So, yeah. Sleepwear. I'm gonna try to go through this pretty quickly and um, see how it goes. So, yeah. I gave him kind of like box of breeze and I saw a heart on it and I thought it was just super cute so I threw it on him and I like it. I didn't feel like changing his hair so I just left it but yeah. It's pretty sweet. And his athletic wear. Yeah. This is his athletic wear and um. Mm hmm. <laughs> about it and let's go to swimwear I thought it was just cool to wear these little really short kind of bottoms to show off his, his nice legs and things like that all right <laughs> to his outerwear um, and pretty much the same thing with the whole um sports letterman jacket type deal and just put on like fancier pants, blue shoes from um, Supernatural and yeah. <laughs> so on to our next person. Um, i trying to remember her name. Oh yeah. So her name is Charlotte Green I believe. I'm not sure I remember. Gotta check. <clears throat> so this is Charlotte Green and oh wait I forgot to show like character traits and stuff so scoop box two dots and okay so he's athletic brave good irresistible and a social butterfly and his lifetime wish is to be a blog artist I'm probably gonna change that to perfect student <clears throat> so, let's see. Perfect student. Yeah. So he's got a perfect student, and his favorite color is green or lime. He loves indie music and kale and pie, and he is a Gemini. Okay, now on to our next person, which is Charlotte Green. <clears throat> hey, girl. And um, let's go on to their outfits. Alright, so she has on her everyday outfit right now, and I still wanted to stay true to the whole nerdy type thing, <clears throat> but with like some sort of stylish twist to it, kind of, so um, I gave her like pink glasses to get all that nerdy theme, but like really cute pink heels and things like that, and I gave her really cute eyeshadow, you can't really tell, but it's really cute. Still wonder. She's nerdy, but she loves makeup, and she's still girly, so it's pretty cool. Um, want to reform more? If it loads, <laughs> no. <clears throat> she loves to do this to me all the time. So, okay, there you go. <clears throat> so she still has her glasses, but in black, and her updo with these earrings, and this really cute dress, and 
I absolutely love it. So, yeah, you're up, rep. I love green so much. And I'll try to sleep where. <coughs> So yeah, I gave her, you know, nerd type t-shirt, which is really cute, and it's cute, absolutely adorable shorts from Master Sweet Stuff, and yeah. Oh, I think you can see her makeup better, but yeah, it's the makeup I put up on her, so that's really cute. And on to her athletic wear, um, I can't remember if I did anything to it. Nope, so this was her athletic wear that was already given. And I know we're not going to see much of it, so I didn't <coughs> worry too much about it. So, on to her swimwear. I thought this was really cute. I'm just not so revealing for her. Maybe she doesn't like to show too much skin, even though it's a lot. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, that's her swimwear. On to her outerwear. I thought it's cute with the hat from um, Seasons, and outfit from Seasons, and the heels. Or the, yeah, you know, heels and her nails and things like that, so. And onto her personality. She's flirty. A great kisser. Schmoozer. Star quality. Oh, jeez. How embarrassing. I totally forgot to change her personality. So she's going to be a bookworm. Um... Was. Um, she is friendly, a genius, and um, kind of don't know what the last trait is to give her schmoozer, I guess. So, um, not really giving me much, but I guess I'll just give her that blog artist. Her color is yellow, she likes R&B, and hot dogs, and she is a Virgo. So we're going to move on to Jen Trim. She is our rebel, as you can see, with her awesome combat, combat boots. Oh my goodness. Combat boots and her really dark eyeshadow and stuff like that. Cool, cool. So let's go on to her clothing. She's on. She's in her everyday outfit right now. So we'll just move on to her formal wear. Um. Yeah. Mm, loading. Loading. Sorry if it's loading super slow. Yeah. Alright, so this is her um former formal attire. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's going on. Formal attire and I added the cheetah print to her belt. Just thought that'd be cool. Um yeah, you know, she's a rebel. No need to be fancy. So that's her and her sleepwear. It'll be loading shortly. I hope. <laughs> this is her sleepwear. It's like a bunny top, and her hair is down, and the shorts from Master Sweet stuff, and some black nail polish, I believe. But yeah, that's how she looks. So, on to her athletic wear. <clears throat> Not sure if I did anything either. I think I did. I, I believe I did. Uh, yeah, I did. So I gave her some studded shorts and this cute top, double layer tank kind of thing, and changed the color for bow and her shoes. I just kept them the same. So under her swimwear, excuse me. So so cheetah print. Absolutely, just love it. So that's just swimwear, and it's definitely I think custom content. So. Yeah, um, onto her outerwear. Mm, her outerwear, and still sticking with the cheetah print, because that is just her thing. 
and the top from um, university, which I thought was super cute, and basic shoes for the base game. Alrighty then, so... Oops. I uh, already have this family done. Alright, so I'm gonna get everything started, have them moved in and everything, and I'll be back. Alright, hey guys, um, so yeah, we just got done doing the whole showing out their outfits and things like that, and the personalities. I don't remember showing the Rebels personality or her lifetime goal. I'm so bad at this, um, but yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get them into the university in a little bit bit actually. So there are. I'm actually in Sunset Valley right now. Alright, so let's get them Oops, started. Check out their new cell phones. Okay. Um, I wonder if the guy just comes to us or the llama. Eh, just enrolling university. Taking the Aptu test can have tons of benefits including scholarships and free credit. The aptitude test can be accessed from the university welcome kit. The university llama mascot should be bringing the kit by your house, but if you, you may miss it, check out your family inventory. <clears throat> okay, so... Should I wait for my llama friend? Family inventory... Oh, yeah! Duh! I almost forgot where that was at. So, it's not in my family inventory. I don't know, I guess I'll just... I want to get this going. I don't know exactly where it is. Um, this is such a hassle. I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know where it is when I've played this probably a bunch of times. So, oh, found it. Okay, University Welcome Kit. Just gonna throw that in there. Make me waste my money. Now I'm gonna sell this counter because. Broke people, pro broke people problems. Okay, done. All right, so take the aptitude test. You take one too, and you take two. So yeah, I did post up a university part one, but I didn't like it. Just the way I did it. Oh, now you show up. Oh, llama! I already had to buy mine. Don't even. Yeah, no, don't even crush on my nerd, you crazy person. No, I don't. I don't need your sparkly kit. Take it away. Hi, your family, your friendly Sim University mascot is here to spread some school spirit. I also bring the university welcome kit which has useful university information and a fun freebies. So, here's first test. Um, okay, so it's Jen and she don't, did not score high enough to get a scholarship, but she is really good at fine arts, so yeah, that's exactly what I wanted from her. To enroll in a little bit. Um, okay, so this is Tin, and he did not get a scholarship, but he'll be good in communications, which I didn't want, so yeah, probably won't do it. Just go stick to physical education. Alright, time for. Charlotte. Okay, so she did earn a scholarship. She earned a partial scholarship. Charlotte Green will receive a thousand simoleons per term the next time she enrolls in university. For university. 
She's actually good in quite a few things. Um, apprentice Business Award, Apprentice Technology, um, Science Medicine, and Communications. But I am going to put her in Science and Medicine. So we will roll by Bia Foon. Actually, I'm just going to hurry up and sell this kit. Done. Okay. Alright, so they're all going to school, um, six credits, two terms, not too bad, I'll be, yeah, I'll do 12 credits, 12 credits, two terms, yeah, cool. Um, mm, what did I click on? Okay, she's gonna be science and medicine, Jen is gonna be fine arts, and Tim's gonna be physical education so wow alright <clears throat> cool beans e yes I'm sure ok cool so we'll be leaving in a little bit look at this fancy car oh they get freebies oh ok So they are on their way to the university. <clears throat> um, yeah. I don't know whether to let it load or <clears throat> get back to you guys, so. I don't know if I finished whatever I said before. I'm so forgetful. Um, Oh yeah, but yeah, I did have a part one university up and I didn't really like it so and I was using the same characters as like my current household and I was maybe I should change it up so I just removed it. And now I'm posting this one with different characters and sort of switched up nerd and the jock I believe, yeah. So alright, I'll just get back to you guys when we're loaded and ready to pick our housing all right bye guys oh not bye but i'll be back <laughs> all right so hey guys we are here and it just looks absolutely amazing i love it all right so um henry hall um should i put that this and this one. All right, I'll just go with Henry Hall. All right, then. Hmm. All right, but I don't have the greatest of laptops, but I'm just really glad that. It gets me somewhere. <laughs> so we're in our dorm. Just slowly getting there. Kinda. Maybe not. Alright, so we're here. Living in dorms. Now that you have arrived, you may want to take a minute to select the bed you want, claim and decorate your room. Don't forget to set the lock options on your door if you don't if you prefer to keep out visitors. So we will do that. We will do that. Alright, so I'm just gonna pause and pick some rooms for them. Let's go all the way to the top. Alright. This is cute. Um Alright, so this will be just on Charlotte's bed and this will be Jen's and this is going to be Tin's bed so um I'm going to go ahead and decorate the rooms and I'll be back and show you guys what I did and yeah <clears throat> alright hey guys um 
so yeah this this is our rooms for now I'm not too satisfied with it but um, I'll probably change everything as we go along and everything like that so <clears throat> This is Jen's side. She, of course, is a rebel, so we need all her rebel tools and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so this is it. And, um, hold on, I'm actually gonna take it out of buy mode really quickly. Alright, and then I'm pause it. Alright, so try to zoom in and show you slowly everything so yeah it's that and let's go on this side and show you what's on the side and I absolutely love the bunny flag I just had to throw it in there and it was just so cute and there's like a book on the floor and a collectible so yeah it's Charlotte's side and of course how to add the mini fridge and um let's go to Tin's room he is a jog of course so I didn't add too much because I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to stay in his room often probably go out and socialize because that's what he does this is calendar you know sports and stuff and this poster just love the angry llama <clears throat> I didn't change so much of it. it's like wallpaper or bed, I just kind of kept these same, just move it aside and added kind of um, I don't know why I can't think of the name, but I added this as well as pictures and things like that and more pictures and of course the mini fridge and flag and yeah, so this is their rooms for now and um, I'll show you around Henry Hall and things like that. So, Alright, so this is Henry Hall. It's really darkish looking. Um, let's see if I can turn on lights. Turn on all lights. Intensity, right? All lights. Okay, so this is Henry Hall. And it looks really nice and fancy and cozy, so I absolutely like it seems like a computer type study room over there. This is pan over here and this is where they eat. The kitchen is really nice. I like it. It's fancy, bright, fun fun. So let's go up to the second floor. As you see this is their bathroom areas. Um, there's some TV here. More bedrooms. So it's pretty cool. And the third floor, where we are living on. They have a gym, which is awesome. And yeah, that's how everything looks for the most part. Um, let's go to the backyard. And you'll see over here is where you would do the bonfire. So, bonfire parties, uh, bikes, um, grilling area. So it's pretty cool, and that's about it. And these are the people that we will be dorming with. His name is Kaz. Hello Kaz. Um, this is Ashley Corona. Yeah. There she is. The jockey girl. And this is Liz. Lizzy. Right there. Um, sorry if my whole moving around is really weird and crazy. I'm just like in an awkward my mouse is in like an awkward position so my hand is just kind of like eh it's acting so weird but um who is she uh holly 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 hey this is like a job cord in our mailbox so um that's that's all i can show you and um probably end it here and continue moving later on and also, I'm going to be making a Generations LP. Just kind of get like more than one thing going. Maybe do another one later on. So, just watch out for that. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you want. Um, or leave comments and, you know, maybe like tips and things. 
should I do? Should I change something? Add something? So yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>